Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Liberal journalist whines over medical bills, gets roasted by real Americans. A Daily Beast editor took to Twitter to complain about a medical bill. After she cursed out America for her pain, she got a healthy dose of reality. So much for Obamacare, am I right? The terrible program that was supposed to provide affordable health care to Americans ended up being a disaster. The program was so convoluted and bad, entire regions were left with one provider, if any at all. That's not to mention the UN constitutional individual mandate that punished you for not being able to afford health insurance. Yet liberals still back Barack Obama's signature disaster. Worse still, they push for even greater government-sponsored health care. They want our health industry to be as bad as Europe's, which forces people to wait for months, in pain, for basic procedures. One such liberal was Daily Beast's social editor Mandy Velez. As an ardent Obama supporter, she wants universal health care. Recently she took to Twitter to emphasize this desire after she was hit with an out-of-pocket medical bill. But I'm not sure she garnered much sympathy. The Daily Beast social editor Mandy Velez apparently got quite a shock today when she found out she owed $400 for medical appointments. Naturally, she used this setback to give America the finger. First of all, I'm not buying those crocodile tears. $400 can be a lot of money for some. But that's pennies compared to the massive bills most people struggle with after going to the doctor. Even a simple visit to the ER can result in over $10,000 in expenses. Honestly, Vela's got off easy. But, I understand the pain firsthand. Getting a huge bill you weren't expecting is tough. Does that justify cursing out the United States? Absolutely not. It's not our government's responsibility to pay for your health care, Mandy. Yes, it can be expensive. However, our government doesn't exist to pay for things that are expensive. The American spirit is to work hard so you can afford the things you need. It might be tough at times, but the alternative is far worse. Government-funded anything always turns out to be a disaster. We get burdened with massive taxes, a hard-hit industry, and only a few meager options. Most of us experienced how bad Obamacare can be. When tempers calmed, Velas did kind of, sort of apologize. But that didn't impress patriots online. Oh, so you were fortunate enough to pay, after all? Why all the complaining? Doesn't the Daily Beast offer health insurance? If they don't, or don't cover enough of the expense, you should be angry with them. Why is it always the government's responsibility to take care of you? Maybe your company needs to cough up some more dough. Or you can always find a job that offers better benefits. But hang on, she could pay that $400? Must be nice. You know there are families in this country who, when hit with a $400 bill, are easily ruined. An unexpected expensive like that can derail their entire lives. They don't take to Twitter to whine like entitled brats. You know what they do? They buckle down and make it work, no matter what. Understandably, people put Velas in her place. Pretty honest, to say the least. Velas's attitude is typical of most out-of-touch, East Coast, liberal elites. They love to lecture us on their blogs, telling regular Americans why we're so wrong about supporting President Trump. They never even bother to understand how bad the policies are that they support. Velas is just another New York, soy latte sipping con artist. She wants liberals to turn America into a socialist state, scolding us for not agreeing. Then she is suddenly shocked when her democratic paradise starts to collapse in on itself. It's even more outrageous when you consider, she could afford the bill all along. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.